referee's discretion will determine whether or not he can go past three knockdowns in a round. And Mugabe coming in at 153 and a half. Thomas at 152 and a quarter. Somewhat of a surprise for both of them to make the weight as easily as they did. And Mugabe coming all the way down from 186 pounds. He ballooned up that high following his loss to Marvin Hagler. And now let's take you to our ring announcer, Chuck Hull. Ladies and gentlemen, the officials assigned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission for the next bout of the evening, the judges are Spider Bynum of Texas, Miguel Donati of Puerto Rico, and Jerry Roth of Nevada. Your referee is Carlos Padilla. Representing the WBC at ringside is Mr. Bobby Lee of the state of Hawaii. This is the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC Super Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing, in the red corner, fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, weighing 152 and one quarter pounds, with a professional record of 28 wins, one defeat, with 20 KOs. He is ranked number two in the world by the WBC. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is Dwayne Thomas. And in the blue corner, fighting out of Kampala, Uganda, and Tampa, Florida, weighing 153 and one half pounds. His professional record consists of 26 wins, one defeat, with 26 KOs. He is rated number one in the world by the WBC. Here is John, the Beast, Mugabe. that uh, the better hand after the introductions uh, came for John Mugabe. As we said, he made many friends despite his defeat at the hands of Marvin Hagler. There were many doubters about uh, his inexperience uh, having any shot at all against Hagler. And while he did ultimately get stopped by that great champion, uh, he did indeed uh, give Hagler quite a battle. Now, let's talk about the weight okay, situation here. Uh, Gil, John, uh, I John feel Mugabe's probably four, best at 154 pounds. He has come back down to it after his try at the middleweight title. But what an effort to get there and from a long way up, 186. Well, Tim, if he wanted to fight at 154, there was no way he should have gone up to 186 pounds. Uh, unless, again, unless he's superhuman, that has to take something out of him. It wasn't that long ago that he was 186. Well, and yet, Becky Duff, his manager, insists he's in the best condition ever and indeed says that he was not in the best of condition for the Hagler fight. We'll find out. Wayne Thomas, 25 years of age from Detroit. And I think we're going to find out very, very early in this fight. I think one of the keys is going to be Thomas's ability to take the first couple of punches that uh, John Mugabe hits him with. Mugabe, 26 years of age. Silver medalist in the 1980 Olympics. A lot of people didn't know that or don't remember that fact. The fine amateur on the same team as Cornelius Moza Edwards from Uganda. Lost to that tough Cuban Aldama, and a lot of people thought he won the fight. He can rip them. Again, when he misses, it's going to be up to Dwayne Thomas to nail him with a counterpunch. That to get, gain the Mugabe's respect, otherwise Mugabe will win all night. You have to watch Dwayne Thomas when he blocks or when he slips. Let's see if he counters. Wars. Well, 
Tim, again, uh, he had 26 straight knockouts. He lost one fight, and, and, and he changed trainers. I don't think that's such a good idea. I think you will find, however, that as usual, it will be Mickey Duff who does most of the vocalizing between rounds. 30 seconds remain in round number one. Remember, this is a 12 round. Gabby and White, Thomas and Gold. Fairly uneventful first round, and let's take this opportunity to go to our Michael Buffer visiting with Thomas Hearns. All right, I'm here at ringside with a very uh, interested spectator. As a matter of fact, Thomas and Mugabe are fighting for his vacated title at 154 pounds. What's in the future for Thomas Hearns? Well, as of right now, we are uh, going to go to the light heavyweight division, which we have a fight coming up February the 7th against Dennis Andrews, light heavyweight champion. Well, you heard it right here. Up to the light heavyweight division, past the middleweights for Thomas the Hitman Hearns from Detroit. All right, Michael, and it'll be interesting. Uh, everything Tommy does in boxing has been interesting. He's had a tremendously colorful career. He'll always be remembered, unfortunately, for his two losses because they were dramatic fights. They were dramatic events against Sugar Ray Leonard and against Marvin Hagler. His dream, four world titles. He's had two. He's going up to light heavyweight. And then we'll hope to get back against Hagler at middleweight. This is round two, scheduled for 12. 154 pounds the limit here. John Mugabe and White. He's rated number one in the world and number two ranked Dwayne Thomas from Detroit. Mugabe throws punches at the tempo of all angles. I mean, he has very, very fast hands snap on his punches but he, he looks like he's off balance at times you don't think he can hurt you with a punch but he can knock you cold with again Mugabe threw a wide right hand left himself wide open but Wayne Thomas did not count the punch or try to take advantage of it. fighting a very patient fight Okay. 
having them touch gloves and calm down. Well, the best punch of the fight landed by John Mugabe in round two. Let's take a look at it and watch Thomas escape after he took the shot. Let's see how he manages. Look at that wide right hand, Tim. He threw it from down around his rear end and it landed. That's unbelievable. Thomas, and he has felt the sting of the beast. Well, that may be good, Jim. Sometimes, you know, uh, if you feel the other guy's punching foul and you're still there, a lot of times he can give you a lot of confidence and take some of the confidence away from the other guy. I'm sure Mugabe has hit guys with that punch and they've gone and taken 10. And here's Thomas still there, still punching back. Looking good, Wayne. Hang on, babe. They wanted to use gloves that had a tab to hold the thumb in so that the fighter couldn't get thumbed. And guess who objected? Mickey Duff, the manager of Mugabe, said his fighter did not train with gloves hey, that had a tab. He did not want He did not want the tab. And there's Dwayne Thomas with his young son. Can you imagine the champion of the world with his son on his shoulders? And now let's go to Chuck Cole for the ring announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Carlos Padilla stops the bout. At 56 seconds of the third round, yeah. the winner and new WBC Super Welterweight Champion of the World, Wayne Thomas. Did, did you uh, know where that punch landed? Yes, I did. I'm a sharp puncher, as you've seen in the past. You know, I place my shots, but Mugabe, I know that he's a real high 
energy type guy. And he did what I thought that he would come out and start bombing at me right away. Cut my lip pretty good. He hit me with a good shot. Where did your punch land it that it ended the fight, in your view? Well, it was a left hook right on the chin. My favorite shot. If I catch any fighter with that flush on the chin, they got to go. Well, I thought it actually landed in about the neck. However, it appears on the replay that it landed in the eye, and that's what he's saying, that, that he was poked or at least hit in the eye. Clearly wasn't was deliberate. Uh, Emmanuel Stewart, there's kind of, kind of an irony here. I understand there was a discussion about whether or not there would be tabbed gloves used, and as it's turned out here, it's the uh, loser here, Mugabe, who may have been affected by that fact, the well, fact that they weren't tabbed. Well, that's a professional business, and we had no complaints, whichever, you know, where it happened. And uh, just as well it happened, the other way it could have been split. But I think that Dwayne won the fight fair and square. The punch that he'd worked on so much was to catch Mugabe with a left hook when he stores his wide punches, and that was his whole strategy, and it worked. And he I, got your attention with one shot, Dwayne, but you expected that. Did you feel after you, that you took the punch that, hey, I can handle it? Well, I knew coming in that I could take his punch because there, excuse me, there's no one that punches to me as accurate as Thomas Hearns, and <laughs> me and Thomas Hearns has had plenty of wars, you know, in the gym quite often, and uh, Thomas is a great fighter. That's quite a test. And All right, let's see if we can get John over here. Excuse me, Dwayne. John, stay here, Dwayne. D John, John Mugabe, uh, Mickey, 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 Mickey. Well, John Mugabe is still being attended to. Mickey, uh, can we ask you, uh, it, he's holding his left eye, obviously, he did get hit. He can't see out of his left eye at all, even now. All right. He's going straight to hospital. That was a blatant thumb, and if you could get a close-up, you would see that the eye, there's a swelling all the way around it, typical of when somebody has been thumbed. There's no two ways about it. Well, we're looking at it right Look, now. There it is. Look. All right, now, now, wait a minute, Mickey. You were saying it's a blatant thumb. In yeah. other words, that, that Thomas actually aimed that punch, no, hoping am, to no, catch him with no, a thumb? I am not saying... What do you mean? No, I am not saying it was intentional. But the end product was it was a blatant thumb. It was an obvious thumb. Okay, not thumb intentional. All right. The, I'm all not right. saying it was okay, intentional. Okay, all right, let's see it again. I was on the other side right. of the ring. Yeah, we're gonna, I can't tell we're show it whether to you it now, was Mickey. intentional or not. Now, the point is that your fighter couldn't continue. He's already, he's yes, already right. been... By yeah. that time, he's already been thumbed. Forget that. He's already been thumbed yep. by then. All right, we're going to bring it back, show the other one. That second punch is the one that hit him in the neck, which is the one that I thought did the damage. No. There it was. There's a thumb. That was a thumb. And look, he's pulled away. It's already yep, happened. Yeah, that's right. Yep. No, no question about that. It's already but, happened. But it was an accident. Now, there was no way he could continue, I gather. I mean, he turned Except away because he couldn't see. could have turned him round. Well, and but it, could, he, could he have continued? The fight hasn't finished three rounds. He could have called it no contest. All right. Mickey Duff, uh, with his explanation of what uh, should have happened, John Mugabe obviously uh, tremendously disappointed, and uh, Mickey suggesting that under the rules it could uh, have been called a no contest. Now let's uh, let's let's bring uh, Dwayne Ford in here, and uh, uh, Dwayne here about the fact that there was a discussion about the gloves. That's just an I irony, no however. So that's only an unfortunate irony. John Mugabe. John, I know you must be very disappointed. Could you not see from the eye at all after you were hit? I can see, I'm telling you. Even now? No, Even now. No, All right. No. Now, uh, is, there, is there hope on your part that you get to have this fight again? Well, this guy farmed me. I couldn't see. That's why I, I turned like this, because I couldn't, I couldn't see. Couldn't see. All right, John. All right, well, John Mugabe, an unfortunate finish here. A second round victory for Dwayne Thomas. We have a new WBC Super Welterweight Champion. The vacant title uh, goes to Dwayne Thomas under unfortunately uh, controversial circumstances uh, due to the fact that it's quite apparent John